Who is the one warder to strive to please? Maybe someone of her family, workplace, school, spouse, or a close friend? As a matter of fact, for the fear to be rejected, we dedicate much of our life to be accepted. Rodrigo Fonseca, founder and president of Brazilian Society of Emotional Intelligence, affirms that all human beings hold a strong fear of being rejected, and regard this subject he states. To even possibility in frustrate others' expectations triggers the fear of being rejected, mock it, and criticize it. For this reason, some people struggle in family, love, and professional relationships. Actually, they look for acceptance, but just the fear of not to be may extend it in their relationships, considerably harming their own lives. On his first letter to the Church of Thessalonica, chapter 2, Paul talks about the importance of focus our force in please God, not men, as we can read starting from verse 4. On the contrary, we speak as those approved by God to be entrusted with the gospel. We are not trying to please people but God who tests our hearts. You know we never use the flattery, nor did we put on a mask to cover up greed. God is our witness. We are not looking for praise from people, not for you or anyone else, even though as apostles of Christ we could have asserted our authority. There is an account about Emperor Constantine when he came back from a certain battle and all residents hurried up at the, to the city gate in order to see him. Among all those people, a young boy squeezed amidst them, tried to give the Emperor a hug. The story says that some soldier tried to stop the kid, saying to him, Step back! You can't approach the Emperor! When heard the boy's reply, he was a present and has no reaction against. He can be the Emperor for you, but for me he is my father. Yep, the boy knew who his father was and didn't care for the opinion of anyone. And, and you are the son and daughter of the universe's Emperor, so why begging man's attention? Thank you.